So I I had a uh, quandary, a question for you. Mm -hmm. Imagine that you guys are launched into space. Mm -hmm. um, how do you guys function as a crew? What roles do you guys take up? Who goes insane first? Basically, give me an idea of how this space travel goes. Say you're just stuck in the space capsule for a couple months traveling to Mars or something. Okay, I have very strong feelings about this. First of all, it would be a similar dynamic to what you see here. We don't change as people. It's just in zero gravity and under constrained yep. conditions. I don't think I go crazy first because I would posit that I'm gone already. I was, Some, that's right. I, I think I'm, I'm unbalanced now on Earth. I don't think I change that drastically when you put me in, in space. I think Gorley goes crazy first because Sona, I've seen you be very chill in very intense situations. Gorley, you're a fussy fellow who likes your life the way you like it. And all your little tchotchkes would be floating around and your ukulele strings. This is and a guy who carries a briefcase telling me this. I don't have a briefcase. I've seen you come in with a little le brown leather briefcase. It's a sh no, it's a, that's a mailman's bag. It's a mail that's bag. That's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> But no, but what, no, no, no. Let me finish here because okay. you're you're just wrong. You you like your life the way you That's like true. it. Everything is just so. And Sona and I have been in the trenches we in have. some crazy stuff over the years. I think you have always, you know, had your little muddled drink just when you wanted it. You've always enjoyed, uh, you know, the music you wanted to hear when you wanted to hear it and the little snacks you wanted just when you wanted them. I got Smith to ship all this up there for me. Though. I know. <laughs> no, but it's going to be floating around. <laughs> That's just Gorley. it. That's even better. It's going to be floating around and you're going to get very uptight <laughs> and you're going to say, where's my... Uh, yeah. Well, what do you mean? Yeah. Where's my little? I don't even know what he's talking about. I well, no. Where's I my little? Like, where's my little? I'm Jeff definitely Goldblum. not going crazy first. Yeah. I know that's for sure. And so I'm not because I'm there. The I'm there. And that's what I was gonna say. You're already uh, crazy, but how are you gonna do without an audience for two months? Oh, all my bits in zero gravity. I get to do every bit that I've been trying out since I was a kid in zero gravity. I'm. I don't need anybody. I'm gonna be so happy up yeah. there. Mm. I swear to God. Me I doing my right. shtick in zero gravity. I mean, first the first two years are going to be me doing the string dance in zero gravity, and and no one can even get it my attention. It doesn't come back down though, Conan. Oh, the string right. doesn't come back down. You just keep going up. You're going to be stuck going in the position, and you're going to have to manually force your leg back down. Yeah, you, you could eject hip. me from the spaceship, and I could do one pull on the string dance of and which rocket me towards the sun. Little thrusters. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen the movie Sunshine? This is what would happen. Yes. You would end up like Mark Strong in that movie. They wouldn't hear from us for m decades, and then they'd find you burned by the sun, having murdered everybody in the space uh, station. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but that's still not going... eating a potato. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. not going. That's not me going crazy. That's me realizing a dream. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, he went crazy. What did he do? He killed Gorley. Oh. Oh, I don't think he went crazy. <laughs> That's just normal he, behavior. He, he, He's he, okay he achieved his lifelong ambition. <laughs> Is my life in danger? No, you're fine for now. For now, huh. wait. This is uh, that's so. I think um, I think uh, it would be a fantastic experience, yeah. you know. And I think we could add greatly to science's uh, knowledge uh, of space. So uh -oh. Conan, are you taking the lead role? Are you the captain on this mission? Or what the are not? you electing? Uh, excuse no me. He is. I'm mutinying. Oh, what are you I'm, talking I'm about? Not, I'm not wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you want to you two? Why is this up for debate? That's you insane. Can't operate like a car fob, even, like much less a phone or a computer. It's called, He's not wrong. It's, it's called Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. And you guys are terrific, um, smaller players. But. You can't put me, no. you can't make me no. answer to Gorley or answer to Sona. That's oh, madness. No. It's going to be called Conan O'Brien crashes a spaceship. He's not wrong. <laughs> Here's the thing. If, there, if there's something mechanically wrong that needs to be fixed, like physically, somebody needs to actually fix it, I don't think you'll do that. I know Gorley will do that. I don't think you'll are you do handy? that. Are you handy? You need me. Yeah, are you he's handy? the handiest you one. You are pretty handy. Yeah. No, but you're still not in charge. Uh, Scotty on Star Trek was not in charge, the captain was in charge. And then he'd tell Scotty, get the engines working, and Scotty would do it. That's the dynamic but what we if have. Scotty what? doesn't do it? Yeah, but what are you contributing? Uh, I have an amazing personality. <laughs> um, that doesn't matter in space. Guess what, I have zero gravity hair on Earth's gravity. <laughs> what is that? So imagine what it's true. gonna be like up there. 
you know? I just don't know what your value, what you're bringing to the table. I have lots of bits. 28 years of America's love. (laughs) Hold on a second. I'm doing the math right now. Well, I was on for 28 years. I want to say a solid three of America's love. Um, But I I think it's not even up for discussion. I am the alpha Uh and I will be in charge. And I'm not saying it's... You're the elf. I'm not saying it's a good thing. (laughs) I didn't say it was a good thing. It's just going to okay. happen. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, well I uh, I thank you guys for your time uh, <laughs> and also this. for getting he's me probably up. fired. Smith, so, you're the I, Smith. Guess what? <laughs> Smith Mulliken, you're the first man ever on a Kona fan to end the interview. Yeah. Smart. Through your own good judgment and sense of propriety, <laughs> yeah. and I I congratulate you. Thank yeah. you.